This is Cosmo. 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 Cosmo is a rambunctious little kid. A little bit mischievous. He's smart. A lot of robot in a very small package. All the technology inside of Cosmo is really there for one reason, to bring the magic of a uh, robotic character to life. It's a very complex system and has four transmissions inside of it with probably 40 or 50 gears. Each robot is made out of over 300 different parts. There's the AI systems, the robotics, accelerometers, the animation, gyros, the computer vision. We're running an extremely complicated artificial intelligence inside the robot, which needs to make thousands and thousands of decisions per second. He's a mobile manipulator. He can drive around the world. He can see you. He can recognize you. He looked up at me, and his eyes went, whoa. And I was like, whoa, he just recognized me. It gives you goosebumps because you realize that this is a little character who actually understands who you are and what role you play in his world. Figuring out the path to a unique personality, is, it's an ongoing question. I think we did about 40, 50 studies on just little nuances. Looking at the interface with the monitor where the eyes are going to look at you, Cosmo moves the head and, and follows you. Every little detail has its special attention paid to it. We literally have a rigged up version of Cosmo in Maya where our animators can animate him using the exact same techniques that they would use for a digital character. Except the output isn't rendered, the output is actually Cosmo behaving in the real world. We've been looking for ways to make it either feel more organic, more imperfect, so that it feels more animated. Sound is a critical piece. It's the one dimension where we have full control, just like in a movie or a video game. We're building his procedural voice system. We're doing all these things so that as you interact with Cosmo, he becomes his own thing. One of the things that makes Cosmo so surprising and so lovable is that he defies your expectations. We're creating something that really does feel like it's part of the family. Those are the moments we usually don't share with machines or robots until now. For ages, the dog has been man's best friend. We want to introduce you to man's new best friend. Meet Chip. Chip is a robotic dog that's much more than just a cool gadget. Chip is an interactive pet that's there to greet you at the door. With a smart band, Chip recognizes who his owner is. Hey, have you seen my other slipper? Have you seen my other slipper? And shows affection to them when near. Chip is obedient and can follow commands. But he also learns new things, so you can teach him tricks. And the smarter Chip becomes, the more badges he earns. When you like what you see, just press the like button on the band, which can encourage him to behave. Or be a little mischievous. Your choices change Chip's behavior and shapes his personality so that no two Chips are ever alike. Chip is a connected experience. He has a translator. What is a chip? So you can understand his thoughts. He comes with his own smart ball so you can play fetch and stay active together. He also has sensors so he can maneuver around obstacles with ease. And with the mobile app, you can feed Chip, which shows you care. And that's important, because when you're in need, no matter it big or small, he's there for you. <laughs> with his Beacon Sense technology, Chip is fully aware of his surroundings. Seriously, no one's seen it? This is like the fifth time. He even knows how to return to his bed when it's time for a charge. So he never runs out of energy. Chip is a smart device. Chip is a robot. Chip is a dog. But most importantly, Chip is a friend. The best
best time. Meet Ollie, the app-controlled robot driven by adrenaline. This rough and tumble roller lives for only two things, speed and tricks. Core features. Built to go wicked fast, Ollie redlines at a floor warping 14 miles an hour. Combine that speed with full gesture controls, and Ollie can pull off some pretty sweet stunts. Steer with your thumb, or turn your device sideways to enter trick mode. Do a trick correctly, and the app will automatically tell you just how awesome your trick was. If Ollie's too fast for you, you can always tone him down in the settings screen. Toughness. Worried that all those tricks and speed are gonna hurt Ollie? Psh. Ollie's been wrapped in a durable polycarbonate. Han Solo style. We've literally sent this thing off a cliff and it still kept going. Getting started. Charge Ollie up using the USB cable, and then download the free Ollie app to your iOS or Android device. With a full charge, open the app, place your device next to Ollie, and watch him connect via Bluetooth LE. It's based on magic. From there, you can choose between two drive modes to run Ollie in. Keep Ollie's tires on for ultra grip and hard cornering, or take them off to become a super drift machine. Accessories. You can also customize Ollie's look with one of the new tire or hubcap options that feature more colors and designs. With LEDs, a 30 meter range, in an hour of non-stop play off a single charge, you can kiss your average toy goodbye. Adios, muchachos. This is Ollie, and it's time to upgrade your play. I'm Cypher, the designer of Vortex. Vortex is a revolutionary product for children. It is a smart and responsive robot that kids can play with and program. Using the Vortex and apps, kids can play different games, learn about robotics, and even create their own. Playing with Vortex is incredibly fun and easy thanks to its unified system and intuitive app. For example, the Bumping Fight is a sumo-style party game suitable for multiple players. The computer inside Vortex has sensors to detect motions like hitting, spinning, or being still. Vortex embraces new technologies and allows users to experience them. 
The Fugitive is a unique game with augmented reality and motion tracking technology. Children already love playing with our Vortex prototypes, and we can't wait for kids everywhere to get their own Vortex. Vortex is compatible with both iOS and Android devices, and comes with an open SDK. Anyone who wants to develop a game for Vortex is empowered to do so because every Vortex is a dev kit. The only limit? Your imagination. Vortex's app allows kids to learn to program their robots in a fun, simple, and educational environment. By abstracting complicated actions and visualizing the process, the app teaches the basics of programming without any coding or advanced skill. Learning by doing has never been easier. Just drag, drop, and hit upload. That simple. We wanted to make a great product, and to do it, we gathered the best people from industrial design, user experience, hardware, software, and game development. For the past two years, Vortex has undergone countless revisions and improvements. And we know that only through this process can we create a product that won't disappoint our future inventors. Vortex is built on Arduino, an open source hardware platform. It can see and speak by using infrared, grayscale, and sound speakers. Vortex can find its way around obstacles, detect lines, and report back to you. We've pre-installed the program and done the assembling. Vortex is fun right out of the box. Just open the app, switch it on, and start exploring. Vortex is also designed to be highly customizable with colorful parts, stickers, and maps. We've come a long way in creating Vortex, and now we need your help to make it real. Thank you. Time to sleep. Good night, Vortex. Good night, Julie.